44 seconds. There we go. Awesome. 44 seconds. All right, we, sh we shall endeavor to catch up to you. And uh, we will be at 44 seconds when I figure this out right now. Good? Yep. 48, Perfect. 49, 50. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. And um, we are here. So we've got Lucifron playing as the French and Marine Lord also playing as the French. Both players going for a dock fairly early here on Boulder Bay. And both players will likely make their way into the Hulk. You're talking about how it was nerfed a little bit. It's still an incredibly strong unit. Yeah, so the damage was not changed. So the nerf was that it decreased the amount of armor um, that's on the Hulk. So that's kind of an interesting thing because the Hulks will still do a lot of damage to fishing boats and, you know, like any military units. Um, but they just kind of die a bit quicker to other ships. So in, actually in a French mirror, it didn't really change much because the base damage is, like, really heavy. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, the minus two or three armor isn't really that significant it didn't change much but against other civilizations it was a significant change so lucifron sent his villager back right away marine lord kept his villager near the dock and marine lord is just going to kill that sheep and then send the vill back very reminiscent to the last boulder bay game that he played he did exactly the same thing he was fishing there until the scout came along from his enemy killed the sheep and then ran back to the tc yeah, yeah, I think that's a smart thing to do because villagers, they actually gather food uh, quicker from shorefish yep. than from the sheep here. So, yeah, you kind of want to stay there for as long as you can, but it's just a given that, like, your opponent's going to show up with their scout and attack your villager, and that will force your villager to, you know, walk back, and de during all that walking time, it's obviously not gathering resources, uh, but then you, you just have to bring it back to its safety. Let me um, adjust something here on my end. I think because of the game crash, my uh, capture got a little bit messed up. So I'm going to start it again. Keep talking about the matchup. Okay. Uh, so yeah, both players opening up with the docks here and a lot of fishing boats. Um, so it'll be interesting to see who wants to go more greedy and who makes more fishing boats. I think Defender's Advantage is quite good. So... It's generally better to be greedy and just make a lot of fishing boats. And the hulks are quite slow. They take a while to cross the, the lake here on Boulder Bay. And if you get out of position, you can get punished like quite um, easily. And uh, looking at their map, um, yeah, there's a lot of trees for both players. So front, you have two options when you advance to age two. You can build the Chamber of Commerce. Um, which is actually like a market and you generally never see that landmark on land maps mm -hmm. but it's actually used often on boulder bay because you can uh you can sell your food which can be quite good uh to really get those warships out we see How four the... fishing ships for lucifron and five now for marine lord and marine lord is on the way up to the next stage sorry i interrupted you go ahead no that's that's fine um yeah so marine lord is aging with the chamber of commerce and the interesting thing is you could age up with the school of cavalry and if you do that like what one knight could show up on your wood line and you know be really devastating um however what most players do is that they'll wall off their base so to prevent that from happening yep so it looks like marine lord is going to do that and you kind of have to just wall up like anyways even if your opponent builds the chamber of commerce like, you can't, you have to just, like, assume, like, oh, if he does build the knight, then you can get your entire eco shut down. So, yeah, yeah it'll be interesting to see if the players wall here or if they... Is go he going greedy. up for a dock here? What's this Phil doing? You were, you were thinking he might be going for a wall. Yeah, he might just be going for the second dock. He might just be thinking, you know, my opponent's going to build the Chamber of Commerce. Like, let me just save the wood. And yeah, just add a second dock perhaps. And Lucifron is going to see this with his scout. And he's going to be able to be a little bit annoying here against the villager for Marine Lord. Once again, Marine Lord <laughs> says, okay, I don't like the fact you're attacking me, but at least I'll take the sheep before I go. Thank you very much. 
Yep, classic, classic move there. Always funny to see that. And uh, yeah, both players now adding second docks. Uh, Luz Defran is up to eight fishing boats, and Marine Lord is on eight. Wow, so yeah. <laughs> Players are playing a mirrored game right now. Yeah, and Marine Lord also being a little bit annoying, but Luciferon actually sending a second villager out to complete that dock, and the scout from Marine Lord probably won't be able to kill that villager from Luciferon. He'll send those back. Marine Lord getting that second dock a little bit to the west of his first one with a different villager, and now both players will be starting with the military production. We've got one Hulk here from Marine Lord, and Lucifron has queued up just one Hulk of his own, too. Yeah, and so one interesting thing in these French mirrors is that both players advanced to the chamber with the Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. And your age of time can actually be pretty important because when you buy and sell resources, it adjusts the rate for your opponent also. So Marine Lord got up to H2 first, and he was able to... Uh, sell food at a better rate than what Lucifron was able to. And here we go, the first Hulk is out from Marine Lord here. And start making his way across the map. Same with uh, Lucifron. Alright. Aha! There's so many fixes to be done, you know. I miss I miss the the spinning hulks for one second here. Now here we are. I have the scoreboard again. Thank you for letting me know, chat. Uh, after my game crashed, there's a few things I needed to fix, but I think we're all back to normal now. And Lucifron is just going to retreat with the Hulk, heal it up uh, within proximity of his dock, and Marine Lord is going to do exactly the same thing. Both players with eight fishing ships still. Did Lucifron add some extra ones? He's got nine fishing ships. Okay, so Lucifron with a very slight advantage in the economy. And yeah, so we are seeing the players prioritize their ecotechs. And uh, yeah, I think this is really popular with French. Um, Marine Lord already getting uh, the broad axe for the wood gathering. He didn't get forestry. And uh, let's see, did... Uh, Please don't yeah, tell me he got forestry. Thing. Please don't tell me. <laughs> no, he actually didn't. Uh, oh, no, he did not yet. Yeah, okay, good. Thank you. You're not a fan of that tech? I have a whole, I have a video on forestry. I did the math. I, oh, yeah, you know, I think I did see it that, sucks. actually. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> hey, you, you chop the tree down two swings quicker, right? But it's like, it takes so long for that to matter. Yeah. Uh, that's funny. If you're getting that investment early in the game, like in a team game, it should be fine. But early in the game, it's just a waste, I think. Well, M Lucifron mm. is here. On the fishing ships from Marine Lord. Marine Lord only now with seven fishing ships. But Lucifron is only defending with two hulks. So he sent a different strategy than Marine Lord a little bit. He sent the other hulk as a raiding unit. And he's going to hope that he can get away. Might be able to with these stealth swamps. What do we call these? Stealth water? Swamps? Um, Marshes? That's a good question. Um, stealth water. The yeah, fog. I think stealth water. Fog, yeah. Stealth water sounds like something that would be sold for like, you know, five dollars a bottle at Whole Foods. <laughs> the specialty stealth water. Uh, that's good. Okay, so we have four hulks on four hulks, and uh, Lucifron looking to get aggressive here. Yeah, it's kind of even at the moment. Marine Lord repairing his hulk. With his fishing ships, Lucifron does not have the fishing ships forward, but Marine Lord's got to be careful. That Hulk can go down pretty quickly. One Hulk from Lucifron down, one Hulk from Marine Lord down. And uh, we have the, the spinning micro here as both players trying to increase the amount of shots they're taking. They're not trying to dodge. Simply trying to get higher uh, DPS. Yeah, and behind this, Marine Lord's uh, fishing boats, they are idle. So that's one, you know, pretty big thing. Um, I think Lucifron's looking a little bit better at Good the moment. Good saves. He saved those at really low HP. Yeah. But here we go. Marine Lord is actually pushing forward. He does have three Hulks here. Well, that one Hulk's already really low HP. He's yep. trying to repair the Hulk. It feels like with the damage output of Hulks, the fishing ship's repairing. 
they don't make that much of a difference, right? You're just kind of idle in your fishing eco. Because Hulks are doing so much per shot. It's yeah, hard for the fishing is, boats to keep up. Yeah, and Marine Lord, you also want to spin the Hulks, you know, to get them to do yep. more damage. But every time you move them, your fishing boats, like, they stop repairing. They yep. can't constantly repair. Let's look at the current resources. Both players are pretty stretched here. Neither one going for that next landmark to go up to H3. They're both just focusing on the water battle at the moment. How many fishing ships left for Marine Lord? He's got six. How many for Lucifer on here? Got, what, four only? No, he's got four more chasing his navy. Yeah. I really like this move from Lucifer on. Uh, he's got the slight lead in hopes, and he's going to use some of these fishing boats just to repair in this fight. Here we go. Big fight here to decide who can win the water here. One... Hulk does pop out uh, for Marine Lord's dock right there, but uh, Lucifron using the fishing boats to try to repair the low HP Hulks. I'm not going to lie, man. I, I think I, I can feel my brain cells disappearing as I watch the micro of Hulk versus Hulk. Yeah, it's it's uh, interesting. Oh, like, wow, and he takes the game. Oh, my God, Lucifron with the Ooh. better spinning tactics. My man can oh. spin. Yeah. Yeah, I did not want to continue the game after winning C, you know. Um, obviously, you could try to come back, but um, decides uh, once I lost C, that's that's game, and he taps out. And yeah, the, the micro with the Hulk is definitely interesting. It's a bit different than what, uh, you know, the age players are used to. But uh, yeah, it's, it's the spin the win. Spin the win. <laughs> it's like got some contestant on... Uh, Wheel of Fortune in the background, like, big money, big money! <laughs> yeah, 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 so why, why the players do that is because the Hulk can attack from the left and the right, and they're two separate attacks, and they each have their own cooldown, so for anyone wondering in the chat, that's why the, you know, the players are spinning their warships, because you basically attack out of the left side of the boat, and then that is on cooldown, so you, then you spin, and you then attack from the right side. So that's that's the old spin to win. <laughs> well, Marine Lord figured, I mean, he was playing exactly the same build. And as soon as you fall behind like that, you're going to lose your fishing ships. It's going to be so tough for you to get back into the game. So it seems like a quick resign. But at the end of the day, what are your chances once you lose fish and your opponent still has those in, in the mirror matchup? It goes down pretty